we're going to experience some culture. And most of that I hear is over in this thing called a red light district. I don't know what this is all about, but I like lights, so that's cool. Ahoy's Navu. In this next episode, we continue on our strolls through Prague's old town. All right, we're going to go have some fun. However, all of this walking around is making us thirsty. What I'm about to present to you is the world's biggest stein. I'm hoping there's free refills tonight. So, we hit up a nearby restaurant to see what beers they have on tap. Little do we know that we will stumble across the original King of Beers. Although the American brand of Budweiser was trademarked in 1876, it was in the 13th century that Budweiser Budvar would come to prominence in the small bohemian village of Budweis. Yes, that makes Czech Budweiser older than American Bud. Yet, it wasn't until 1895 that Budweiser Budvar would become a state-owned trademark, resulting in generations of legal battles with Anheuser-Busch. Despite all the legal fees and obstacles, Budweiser Budvar is still the Czech Republic's fourth largest producer of beer right behind Pilsner Urkel and Gambrinus. Well, that's definitely different than the water we get back home. There's a lot more flavor in that. I like it. I'm gonna drink more of this thing. Speaking of Gambrinus, we stop for some while soaking in the scenery along the Vltava River. People. I like how I'm having mushroom and vodka soup. That's gonna blast my ass later. <laughs> It'll end up on the Charles Bridge and I'm still gonna be sitting here. This is the Charles Bridge, named after Charles IV, a Bohemian king and Holy Roman Emperor that commissioned it. Legend has it that egg yolks are mixed in with the mortar, which was believed to help strengthen the bridge against floods. A hodgepodge of Gothic and Baroque designs, the Charles Bridge features 30 evenly spaced statues depicting saints and other Christian figures. The statue of St. John of Nepomuk is the oldest and most significant. John of Nepomuk was a Bohemian priest who heard the confessions of King Wenceslas IV and the royal family. Worried that his wife was cheating, the king ordered the priest to disclose any secrets the queen may have offered in confession. When John refused, he was thrown from the Charles Bridge and drowned in the Vltava River. Today, his statue stands near the location of his death, and it is said that if you touch the statue's plaque, it will bring you good luck and safe travels. However, rubbing the dog plaque next to it will bring you no such luck, as that was a legend made up by local students to trick unsuspecting tourists. And speaking of unsuspecting tourists, I present to you David Cerny's controversial sculpture known as Proudy. We came across these urinating statues by accident and it just so happens that they spell out Czech literary quotes with their streams. In fact, these statues can spell out anything you want. Just text your message to 420-724-370-770. It's a great way to propose to your significant other. Messaging and data rights may apply. That's enough excitement for one day. Join me for the next video of our Prague escapades as we explore the Jewish quarter and Newtown. You'll experience an overcrowded cemetery and venture into one of Prague's not-so-square squares, a Patruiza. Yeah.